Vincent, good afternoon, everyone. The words I saw on a card which I was asked to sign yesterday from the Leeward Islands Cricket Association under its president, Enoch Lewis, and the various elements in the Leeward Islands Cricket Association actually brought a reflection. Those words express the everlasting hope of every believer. Death leaves a heartache no one can heal. Love leaves a memory no one can steal. Today is a time of relatively mixed emotion for me as I stand here before you on behalf of the President of the Leeward Islands Cricket Board, Enoch Lewis, and by extension, the various islands which make up the association, the players from the various islands, and on my own behalf, the, fa the behalf of my family, the behalf of the people of the valley, the people of South Valley, where my dear friend grew up. Our comrades sealed here before us this afternoon has completed his life's journey, which we all have to travel, and has moved on to eternal rest and peace with our maker and master. We must never forget that this is a journey we are on also, and someday it will certainly be our time. Robert Llewellyn Jeffers was his name after a childhood upbringing of being called John Wellington Richardson. He was affectionately called Little John or Little John, the son of a St. Kitts mother and an Angolan father born in St. Kitts. He would always remind me that his positive outlook on life was fashioned by an old lady called Te Teacher Roslyn, Mrs. Roslyn Pond, who is still formerly with us. He has been related to us in various ways, as a husband, a father, a grandfather, an officer of the law and a good officer of the law, a positive thinker, an advisor, a confident, knowledgeable, and able administrator, a relative and a friend. To me, the relationship between John and myself could be likened onto a miniature version of that of David and Jonathan in the Bible. Respect and loyalty went both ways. There can be little questioning about John's faith in the Almighty. This was instilled in us from our very early days when we were taught to believe that with God all things are possible. We grew up in an atmosphere where there was a constant search for knowledge and a no never dying love for the game of cricket. His love for cricket remained right up until the end when he was serving as the company secretary of the LICB and the acting CEO. The Leeward Islands Cricket Association or Leeward Islands Cricket Board will certainly miss one that it will be difficult to replace. Despite our significant professional achievements, what my friend loved most was of our involvement with the Leeward Islands Cricket. He would remark to me on many occasions, who could believe that these two pieces tail little boys would one day grow up and assist in the direction of Leeward's cricket. Robert, as Enoch would call him, had a passion for Leeward Islands and West Indies cricket to return to their glory days. I hope this is all of our belief, and I mean all of our belief. At the Leeward's level, other administrators knew that he was never afraid to tell them what his stand was, and he did so in a very reasoned manner. And he did so whether they liked it or not. Say what you may about John, but he always had the interests of every Leeward's player, and he administered, he administered it without fear or favor. And I can assure you that he is somewhere pleading with us now to follow his line of attack and to do the same. Leeward's cricket will have missed an honest partner and friend, 
Life's journey should be about dependable and reliable relationships, and I can assure you that I shared such a relationship with our dearly departed friend. From boyhood, his joys were my joys, and his disappointments were mine, and vice versa. I could not arrive in St. Kitts without harassing some immigration officer to tell me where I could have found my friend Jeffers. I want to thank Claudette for allowing him to maintain a room in his family house for my comfort whenever there was need. And I can assure you, Claudette, that it was very much appreciated. We could have called on each other at any time of day or night for advice, assistance, or guidance. Could you imagine the boyish excitement of a matured man when Jeffers returned back to Anguilla after being in St. Kitts for 50 years without returning to Anguilla? Unbelievable, but very true. He always promised to come back, but God had other ideas. He would seldom, if ever, finish a conversation with me without reminding me to say hello to Mother Ruby for me. He always wanted to know how my children, Arthur, Dollar, Shaka, and Ramon, and my two oldest grandchildren were fearing. They are Tenasia and Aaron, who I've brought here with me today. Time will never permit me to tell you all of the stories between Robert and myself. Some would be worth hearing, some would only be related to the two of us. I want to assure Claudette, his children, grandchildren, and the entire Jeffers family that their loss is shared and we stand firmly behind them in this their time of bereavement. I wish to extend the sincerest condolences and the sympathy to the entire Jeffers family on behalf of the President of the Leeward Islands Cricket Board, Mr. Enoch Lewis, and the entire LICB. The Honorable Chief Minister in Anguilla, Mr. Victor Banks, has also asked me to convey his best wishes. He was quick to remind me when he heard of Jeffers' death, of the rivalries academically between Jeffers and himself at secondary school in Anguilla, and he also reminded me, possibly with fear, that Jeffers was one day younger than him. I also bring best wishes from the Minister of Sports, Mr. Evan McNeil Rogers, and the Department of Sports, and certainly I would want to bring very best wishes from my dear old mother, who is now 96 years old, going on to 97. And Jeffers had a very close relationship with her, my associates, and myself personally. In the words of David to Jonathan, to my dear departed friend, Robert Llewellyn Jeffers, or as I knew him in the beginning, John Wellington Richardson, In as much as we have sworn between us in the name of the Lord, saying, The Lord be between thee and me, and between your seed and my seed forever. May the good done by Robert Llewellyn Jeffers while traveling his earthly journey remind us of the importance of service to our sub region and region, and instill in each one of us the need to be our brother's keeper, and may the everlasting peace of God, our Holy Savior, be vested in him forever. Lay down, my dear brother. Lay down and take your rest. We love you, but Jesus loves you best. The words that I saw on that card which I signed are so befitting, and I would want to end with them. And certainly, they come on behalf of the Leeward Islands Cricket Association, of which De Jeffers was a firm part. Death leaves a hearty. No one can heal. Love leaves a memory. No one can steal.